a lot of people are concerned that Trump's new appointee to replace Jeff Sessions as attorney general, the new appointee is Sessions' former chief of staff, Mr. Whitaker. And Mr. Whitaker now is a sworn ally of the Trump administration and Donald Trump. So many believe that he was put there purposely to end the Russia investigation and to stop Mueller from attempting to indict anyone else close to Donald Trump or a member of Donald Trump's family. Well, first of all, you would expect the attorney general or the acting attorney general to be a close ally of the president who appoints him. Second, um, I will use the words of my famed president, Donald Trump, fake news. You know, Democrats have been whining about the Mueller, administra uh, Mueller investigation for two years. Every five seconds, it's going to be someone is going to stop Mueller from doing his job. Meanwhile, he's been doing it for two years, 30 some odd million dollars later, and this Russian thing is as much of a hoax as it was now as it was then because there's just no truth to it. And let's move on. I pity the Democrats when they run out of Russia. I really do. My concern is that many in Washington is using the Russia investigation as a distraction. The American people do not realize that while we're focusing on the Russia investigation, America and the Trump administration <laughs> is plotting a secret war to attack and bomb Iran. And I absolutely believe that that war will start to take everybody's focus off of what Mueller is going on with that Russian investigation because Mueller knows you cannot indict a sitting president and what better way to use a war as the ultimate distraction as George Bush did with 9-11 justifying the invasion of Iraq of mass destruction and weapons of mass destruction did not exist in Iraq and it was all about oil. I'm telling the American people now, go back and examine the history. Too often they use big distractions about investigations into political misconduct while they're planning a war behind your back. Well, first of all, I didn't know you become a conspiracy theorist, but but it's only the Democrats that are making the Russia investigation a big deal. And so are you suggesting that when Nancy Pelosi uh, becomes House Speaker again, that she's secretly going to lead Congress into a war with Iran? Because the notion that we're going to a war with Iran based on some way to sort of hide the truth about Russia is about as silly a thing as I've That's ever heard you say. That's exactly really? what America is going to do under the Trump administration. And this Nancy Pelosi thing, the Democratic Party needs to be more like the local Democratic Party. You see how 19 of those sisters got elected to become judges, all 19. Now there's new blood, new faces. D.C. needs to clean the quote-unquote swamp and put new blood and new faces in place to lead the Democratic Party, not these old established politicians. Yeah, so all these young, progressive, Native Americans, Muslims, gay, straight, whatever, people that ran that said you they just, were going to get rid you of just Nancy. just named everybody you hate. <clears throat> no, no. They all ran and said they're getting rid of Nancy Pelosi, which was all a big bunch of hooey. And at the end of the day, the Democrat Party ain't changing, and it's the same old thing, dude. You go from one but party to the no, next, the Democratic it's the same party old... That's and the Republican Party both need new faces and new leadership. And they're also talking about... Uh, Nancy Pelosi preparing a canon of 85 subpoenas against the Trump people. I beg That's the Democrats to do that. That's a distraction. That's exactly right, because you know what? When you cut to the chase, the Democrats have a government-controlled health care that costs $32 trillion and open borders and not much else. Calm down, dude.